Hey guys, Christian here with Christine, and we'd like to welcome you to our brand new podcast series, The TCX Field Guide. The point of these podcasts will be to share our knowledge of the multimedia universe, in particular design trends, printing techniques, and marketing tips. And regardless of whether you're a designer or a business owner, we hope that you'll find this series both practical and inspiring. All right, then let's get our first podcast started. Today we're going to talk about the different types of coding used during printing, more specifically the ones that are done during the finishing process and not necessarily coded papers like glossy paper. There are two main reasons for using a coating. One is to protect the printed piece, for example to avoid scuffing the ink, and the other is for aesthetic reasons, to bring attention to a particular area. Pretty. Whatever your reason, you can either flood the entire piece with coating or just use it in certain spots, which is called spot coating or dry trap. Depending on which type of spot coating you do, the effect can either be really subtle or really dramatic. Either way, it automatically adds interest to your piece and makes it more impactful. Plus, you'll get different results based not only on the type of coating you choose, but your paper choice as well. But we'll get into that a little later. Now, there are a variety of different coatings, but we're going to talk about three in particular, and that's varnish, UV, and aqueous. Varnish is basically ink without pigment, although it can be tinted. It can come in gloss, dull, or satin finish. And you can even do a textured varnish if you're feeling really fancy. This Centura ad uses a spot gloss varnish. See where there's a glossy coating only on the photo? That's the varnish, and it's used to emphasize the image only. If you're trying to be eco-friendly, keep in mind that many varnishes are solvent-based. This means that during the application process, they emit VOCs, which are volatile organic compounds. Also, some varnishes tend to yellow over time, but this is becoming less and less of a concern as the technology gets better. The next type of coating is UV, which is really popular, especially with digital printing. UV coating is a clear liquid that is spread over the paper and then cured and hardened with ultraviolet light. It generally comes in either a gloss or dull finish and is commonly used as a spot. You'll notice UV right away because it has that super shiny, ultra high gloss look. Now UV coating doesn't emit VOCs like varnish, but it's actually more difficult to recycle. Also, if you're going to get your piece folded, you should get it scored before you coat it. Otherwise, the ink and coating might crack along the spine. Lastly, there's aqueous coating, which is more environmentally friendly than UV because it's water-based. Aqueous, usually abbreviated as AQ, is usually used as an all-over coating, but sometimes can be dry-trapped. Aqueous emits fewer VOCs than varnish and won't yellow over time, but it is a bit more costly. But the nice thing is that it doesn't crack or scuff easy. There are a few things to consider when choosing the right coating for your job. If protection is your priority, then you're going to want to choose UV or even aqueous as your coating rather than a varnish. Also, keep in mind that you cannot print, glue, or foil stamp over a coating. That's why applying the coating is usually the last step. If you're going to do a varnish, best to use coated paper stocks like gloss or satin. And for UV, 80 pound text or heavier papers can be used, but cover weights like cardstock are usually preferred. Another thing to consider about the paper is whether or not it's some sort of specialty paper or has a kind of texture to it, kind of like these three Wausau paper ads. You can kind of see that you get a slightly different finish depending on the quality and texture of the paper, even though all three of these use spot UV. Most printers will have these and other options available to you, so always be sure to bring up coatings early on in the production process to determine which one is right for your job. So to wrap things up, we'd like to share our general preferences and thoughts when it comes to coatings, especially for our clients. Now we see a lot of UV coated pieces, you know, like those 5,000 business cards you get for like $25. Stuff like that is always UV coated. It's just become the norm. And a lot of people associate that high gloss look with being expensive, but it's really not. Quite the opposite, really. Uncoated pieces tend to be more expensive. But there is something to be said about that softer, sort of rustic look and feel of uncoated printing. But I guess what it comes down to is whether or not that look fits your design. Generally, we recommend not doing a full flood UV coating just because you can. Only do it if protection is the main reason behind it. And if protection isn't the issue, then we're all for doing a spot UV coating. It's just a nice way to give a little extra something to your design. Now I know we've shown you a lot of examples, but you can't really get the full impact unless you get your hands on them yourself. So here are a few ways that you might be able to do that. Design magazines like How and Communication Arts often have paper samples in them, like many of the examples we showed you today. And these samples usually say what kind of printing and coating were used as well. 
Another way to get your hands on some samples is to request some from a printer online, such as printplace.com. Of course, you can always try stopping by your local press house for a tour, which is extra educational, I might add. And if they're feeling extra generous, you might walk away with some goodies. If you'd like to find out more about coatings and varnishes, visit our website and check out our blog where you can get more resources and pictures. And feel free to drop us a line with any questions or suggestions for future podcast topics. Well, I think that about wraps it up for this podcast. I'm Christine. And I'm Christian. Thanks for joining us and tune in next time for more industry tips and trends.